Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Game of Thrones Season 3 Episode 6. Now guys, the last episode our boy Jon Snow lost his cherry, right, to his actual real wife. <laughs> Which is hilarious, right? And Tyrion and Cersei need to marry somebody they don't want to marry because Tywin is an ambitious prick that wants everything, even the North. And now Tyrion needs to marry Sansa. Now, that was a plot twist that I did not see coming. And you guys also explained that uh, uh, his other son, Tywin's other son, um, what's what's his name? The, the Kingslayer. I, I can't remember his name, right? Jamie. Jamie. He can't marry because he's uh, in like in the guard uh, in King's Landing. Like, he swore an oath, just like uh, the guys at the Night's Watch. So, he can't ever marry or anything. So, that's why he can't marry him to somebody important right so Tyrion's all he's got <laughs> when it comes to sons uh, we're all over the place but I'm here for it that being said oh yeah and the Queen of Dragons uh, she OP bro I'm sorry three dragons plus an army plus those advisors nah no nobody's stopping her bro she crosses that sea we're screwed that being said enjoy my reactions you know what to do let's go the Raven brings the sight. Things share things subscribe all that, that. Things that happened long before we're you. skipping this you know your fires <laughs> And you know your books, which is ironic, because you could use leaves from a book to burn. Someone <laughs> built your fires for you growing up. It doesn't get so cold down in the reach. 700 feet high, all made of ice. On a warm day, you can see it weeping. Hmm. So they're traveling to the wall. <coughs> oh. He's so awkward. The father's face is stern and strong. He sits and judges right from wrong. Funny story, actually. When I was younger, I used to watch my grandma do that all the time. They had some splendid rabbits, right? Just walking around, running around. And I was a child, so I, I took him. I, I took him as pets, right? So I was always playing with them and having fun. And then one day, my grandma just came, picked one up by the ears, sprung him along, and started doing dashes. I was traumatized, but I was like, "What the hell?" Right? And then they explained to me like they eat rabbits, bro. <laughs> Like it's they're not pets but i was utterly convinced they're pets there for my fluffiness right for me to just do, 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 right but damn bro that's crazy that that that's crazy to see the first time in front of you just your grandma talking shit and just doing that like it's like it's nothing right you grow up north of the wall you'll learn the proper way to handle game i didn't see any game before i got here you've got a big mouth girl and too many teeth. Stop it! Bruh. You've Hold been up. fighting since you met. Just stop it. Lady Reed has got a stick so far up her ass, it's a wonder her feet touch the ground. You've been nasty to her every day. <laughs> Ooh, he having a nightmare? Or is he watching through an animal right now? Because he has those abilities too, right? I'm right here with you. He's having a seizure. I'm right here with you. You ever climbed it before? No. But Tolman's done it half a hundred times. You're afraid. Let me see. I didn't notice that we don't have subtitles. Subtitles. English? Okay. Long. What did she say? Me. Don't ever betray me. He said I won't. Nah, she found a proper lover, and now she loyal. <laughs> won't. Because I'll cut your pretty cock right off and wear it round me neck. Well, that's crazy. She crazy. Show me a position. Keep your elbow high. You want your back doing the hard labor. You're holding. Never hold. What? Your muscles tense up when you hold. Valar Morgulis. Valar the Hirish. Or we will the ruler of Kelbrian and Desundau. Thoros gen Mirotixa. Voctus Eglia ot Gaimolaxir Teptas. By the time I came to Westeros, I didn't believe in our Lord. I decided that he, that all the gods were stories 
we told the children to make them behave. So I wore the robes, and every now and then I'd recite the prayers. This is for sure. Okay, so what changed? Our God is the one true God. And all men must serve him. That's kind of creepy. But also kind of interesting. That's a lot of power for somebody to have. You've been to the other side. Six times, apparently. Can you make them? Yeah, nothing tricky about it. Just need decent steel. I'll get you the steel. Now, she's gonna ask for Adia, isn't she? Why, though? Maybe Stannis wants a hostage, and Adia's a perfect hostage for him to make Rob Stark bend the knee to Stannis, and then again, he's gonna gain power to go after King's Landing again. Maybe that's the plan here, because she came here for a reason. She just said, well, I need your help with somebody. So, and Adia already doesn't like her. So this is gonna be interesting. Oh, they want him? What are you doing? Let go of him. Tell them to stop. He wants to be one of you. He wants to join the Brotherhood. Stop them. We serve the Lord of Light. They took him. They really took him. But why, though, is the question. I think he's okay. Because Stannis is his uncle. Then again, Stannis hated Robert and his other brother. So maybe he's not gonna look too kindly on Robert's offspring. He almost killed him. Then again, he couldn't really control the ice, right? Oh yeah, he's being tortured for some reason. I'm sorry. Were you sleeping? What's wrong with this dude? The Starks didn't appreciate you. One good bit though. Th that's actually crazy. My man was tortured. He didn't really reveal nothing while he was tortured. But while this guy played the nice guy, he told him everything. He poured his out, like he poured his heart out to this dude, and then this dude brought him back and accused him of killing all those people even though he's the one that did it so what the hell is, like this guy is this some psycho shit right here man like i don't understand why is he doing this to to theo like what what is dark boys they're still alive wouldn't that be a hunt to remember what did he ever do to he you failed, i'm a better hunter than you don't let me go If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. No, this guy's a psycho. <laughs> Why? You say please again, and you wish you hadn't. It was just a guess. Very good, Lord Theon. Is he lying, though? And who am I? Torrent casts up. He's dead. Strangled by the Kingslayer. You swore to tell me you're right. Okay, he's gonna Lord tell us. Rickard Carstark is Rob Stark's bannerman. I betrayed Rob. Wait, is that the guy that Rob beheaded two episodes ago? Because one of his sons was killed by Jamie? Oh, this coming together, this is his other son. Does he know that his dad is dead now? Why is he torturing Theo? Like, wh how, how does he connect to all of this? That's why you're torturing me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because Rob killed him? What? You win. <laughs> what the? Everything I told you is a lie. <laughs> Yo, I had a feeling, because he had that psycho look. This isn't happening to you for a reason. Well, one reason. <laughs> Enjoy it. it is his. Once the war is over, and we have no further strategic need for it. And there's something else. Oh, we this... will do whatever we can to give Lord Frey what he needs. Now this is gonna Not be something what? crazy. Who? They're gonna want something crazy. Your wife or some shiz. What? He has every right to be. Please excuse us while we discuss it. So Rob's gonna force this guy to marry an ugly chick <laughs> for the sake of his war and he doesn't have to answer for the fact that he broke his oath by marrying somebody else. Bro, they're trolling him right now. I had 
something less permanent in mind. I've won every battle, but I'm losing this war. Yeah. If we don't do this and do it now, we're lost. I should send you back to Rob Stark. <laughs> you should. You should. Instead, you're sitting here watching me fail at dinner. <laughs> fail at dinner. Why might that be? Wars cost money. Many people would pay a great deal for you. We both know who would pay the most. Do you understand how suspicious that is to ordinary people? Hmm. Very well. My lady, may our journey continue without further incident. Oh, she won't be going with you. I am charged with bringing Sir Jamie to... You are charged with abetting treason. The most beautiful woman in all seven kingdoms. And the mother of the king. Old. Old. <laughs> I love Old? this. <laughs> Yo, I love her so much, bro. She's so blunt and she does not take any BS, bro. She's like, she old, bitch. She old. <laughs> old. I'm something of an expert on the subject. I love it. Her change will be upon her before long. I'll spare you the details of what will happen then. You men may have a stomach for bloodshed and slaughter, but this is another matter. I congratulate you upon your restraint. Restraint? It's a natural thing, two boys having a go at each other beneath the sheets. Perhaps High Garden has a high tolerance for unnatural behavior. I wouldn't say that. She's True, trolling him. We don't him. tie ourselves in knots over a discreet bit of buggery, but. Brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah, she crazy, brah. The rumors about my children were true. Then Joffrey is no king at all. And House Tyrell is throwing its prize flower into the dirt. And if Cersei is too old to give Laura's children, we are throwing another prize flower into the dirt. Or do you consent to this match? Damn! It's a rare enough thing. A man who lives up to his reputation. Oh, she accepted defeat. She accepted defeat. I love this old bat. She was roasting. She was roasting the hell out of him, and with good reason. My man was mocking the fact that her grandson is gay, right? And then she was like, "Yeah, yeah, gay might be considered a sin. What do you consider siblings hooking up, bitch? Like she was throwing it down, bro. Nah, she a good politician, like Tyrion." I love her. I actually love her demeanor and her character, and she's a good old bat, bro. I love it. I love it. Now, that was some great banter right there. But Tywin has more authority, so he won. He cheated, though. He threatened her. We gotta call them loose! No! <laughs> oh, you guys better do something. Yeah, because they can't even... They need to swing to the left to get to the snow. Hey, he stayed true to his promise. He will never betray her. He just saved her life. And this guy's a bitch. Small brooch, really. Yo, I just want to see Sansa's reaction once she hears she's going to have to marry Tyrion, not this guy. Because she's, she's very easily smitten with people her age right she liked joffrey as well at the beginning this guy as well right he was a knight he he gave her a flower she got smitten right off the bat but Tyrion, mm, something tells me she ain't gonna like that <laughs> even though Tyrion's a nice dude well, i suppose a brooch is a sort of pin so i'm very happy about uh, yes. There are not you or father or anyone else wants to admit it. Or acknowledge it. it. If it weren't for your trick with the wildfire, Stannis would have sacked the city before father got here. Facts. Our heads would still be rotting on the city gate. Trying to have me killed is an odd way of saying thank <laughs> you. Yeah! But the king orders the king's guard to murder the hand of the king in full view of his own army. The boy's an idiot. Do you want me to stay? I want you to tell me if my life is still in danger. Probably. Okay, so this is interesting because Cersei didn't answer and I assumed she was guilty, but no. She didn't answer because she was like, well, yeah, the boy is stupid. If I was the one that ordered it, you'd, you'd be dead right now because she she's way smarter than that, right? 
So it was Joffrey. Joffrey doesn't like that Tyrion's just smacking him around and trying to teach him good manners. And the fact that he always calls him out on his BS as well. Like, Lee. But not from Joffrey. He won't do anything now, Father's here. Okay. Seven kingdoms united in fear of Tyrion Lannister. I think people will like it. I don't think they will even notice it. You're right. It's not my wedding. Bruh, I am always amazed at how, like, kid-like Sansa is, bruh. Like, do you understand these people murdered her dad, mocked her, like, canceled the wedding on her, constantly shat on her, she almost died a few times, she almost got raped a few times, and here she is daydreaming about her wedding. They just told her, oh, you can marry him, and she's like, yeah! I'm gonna forget everything else that happened. But what the hell is wrong with her? Like, anyway, from what I can tell, the dressmakers in High Garden will be far superior to the ones in King's Landing. They never make me anything as dull as this for my wedding. I mean, your family is at war with it's their family. To to see you. Should I? I beg your pardon, my lady. Good afternoon, Lord Tyrion. Now this is gonna be this is gonna be very messed up because he's in love with this girl, and now he's supposed to tell her that. He's gonna, or rather, she's gonna have to marry him in front of, bro. That's. I was just trying on a gown for King Joffrey's wedding. Yes, it should be quite a wedding. I need to speak with you, Lady Sansa. Of course. Alone. Alone, if I may. Why do you need to speak to her alone, Shay? It's all right, really. Damn, Tyrion trying to sneak his way out of this, but this is crazy. How to begin? Like how to begin indeed. Tell them to sit down, both of them. <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah. The one who fed you information about my plans. The one you swore to protect. Ooh, the girl. You didn't bring her any enjoyment. And she didn't bring me any enjoyment. She was a bad investment on my part. Aping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. A ladder. Many who try to climb it fail. Oh, he Never gave to her. Again. He gave her to Joffrey for the his ball sadistic. Breaks them. The climb is all there is. Nah, no, this is crazy. No, the climb. Ooh, good transition. But yeah, Sansa, they didn't give us the speech Tyrion made to them. Uh, she about to see the view from the wall for the first time ever. And they're doing it together. Nah, they love each other. <laughs> Yo, my man's like, screw the Night's Watch, bruh. This girl's hot. <laughs> and the fact that they're married in real life, that's such a gem. I just love it. I love the idea of it. Is that it? That's it. This show kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings. It has so much in it, right? The lore, the history, the, the monsters, the abilities. It's just all over the place. Very interesting episode. Uh, so Tyrion finally told Sansa her fate in front of his lover. She took it well. Sansa was crying. <laughs> but uh, damn, the fact that he sold that girl, Littlefinger sold that girl to Joffrey and Joffrey's sadistic ass shot her with a crossbow multiple times until he, he killed her. Well, such a poor fate. And all because she betrayed Littlefinger, right? Crazy episode, crazy episode. Rob Stark also has his hands full with the war. That guy's gonna have to marry an ugly chick. <laughs> We're all over the place and just, this really is the Game of Thrones, but you, I cannot predict anything. Jon Snow is here, but I guess he's no longer in the watch or he's just blatantly disregarding the vows. And I don't even know, I, is anybody even here? Like everybody went up the wall, right? beyond the wall and, and they killed the commander and they're still out there so nobody's really here so they're, they're gonna be the only ones here <laughs> maybe some servants and stuff but no fighters but I guess we'll find out that being said I ain't gonna applaud this that much I really enjoyed this episode hope you enjoyed the reaction and I'll see you in the next one stay safe love you enjoy and bye